so in this video we are going to solve this problem a simple ANSYS truss problem 4 bar truss problem as shown in figure the dimensions are 800 800 the vertical downward force at this, this node and horizontal rightward force at this node so just start ANSYS APDA We create one folder at a desktop and in this in that job name is one. Select ANSYS environment and license ANSYS multiphysics. Run this. Okay. Now just see the problem. Start from this node, then this this and this there is no such a condition that we have to start from this node here yeah. if you want then you can start from this node also so we just define the key point properties it is from this is at 0 0 this is at 800 0 this is at 800 800 and this is at 0 800 so we go to preprocessor modeling create key point inactive cells so key point number one key point number one at the location of 0x 0y apply key point number two at the location of 800 and y remains 0 apply then key point number three at the location of 800x and 800y key point location four at a 0 and 800 so okay so these four key points are created 1 2 3 4 now we have to create these elements between that key points this 1 2 3 and 4 so now go to again create lines lines straight line so pick this extend up to this pick this extend up to this pick this extend up to this Pick this, extend up to this. After completion, just click OK. Now we have to define the material properties. So the material property for the modulus of elasticity is 200 gigapascal. So just go to material properties, material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic that is 200 e raised to 3 we have to define the material property in terms of newton and mm square that is newton per mm square and the Poisson's ratio will be set to 0 ok close this now we have to define the element type for analysis of this such a 4 bar truss problem as shown figure so now go to element type add edit add here because here is it is none defined so go to add link element link 3d finite strain 180 element so select this and ok close this then next we have to define the area for every truss member so for that go to real constant add it here it is none defined so add select this element ok and here it is defined the area is 400 which is should be in mm square so click ok close this dialog box then we have to define the meshing property for the same member so after that element type go to meshing size control define manual size lines now we have to define the meshing property that is mesh size for every element is equal to 1 so either pick all lines or by picking pick lines select this one this one this one this one this is the same procedure instead of doing this just cancel this and pick all lines so all lines are selected so element edge length define or number of element division so we want the element division is equal to 1 that is as a whole element 
we define one mesh size that is one okay now here we only define the mesh size meshing is remaining now so to perform meshing go to mesh lines and pick all lines now meshing is done if you want to check the meshing is done or not go to plot plot nodes if this node is are shown then our meshing is done now again go to a simple view go to plot and multiplot so these are the multiplot now after this the preprocessor part is over now go to solution select analysis type new analysis static ok then apply load because we have to apply here node at this point and at this point and again at this node at this node and at this node there is a support so apply support and node so select define loads apply structural first apply displacement at this and at this there is a zero displacement so displacement on nodes so pick node pick this pick this apply so all degree of freedom at this node this one and this one is zero so select all degree of freedom which is equal to zero apply then remaining this one so select this one apply now if you see at this node there is a roller support roller support in x direction so this sorry roller support in y direction so this node will be move movable in x direction so fix y direction node as a zero so instead of just unpick this and select ui which is equal to zero okay so roller support is applicable so we apply constraint now apply the load now go to force movement on node first select this node apply the force at this node is 75 kilo newton in x direction so fx which is 75 but with given in kilo newton so 10 raised to 3 apply again at this node downward force that is in y direction negative apply select here it is fy the value for the same is 100 kilo newton downward direction that is 100 e raised to 3 apply now if you see here it is becomes upward so what we have to do we have to delete this force and change the direction in downward direction so just go to define loads delete structural force movement on nodes so select this ok so select all is equal to 0 so this is negative deleted now the same procedure to apply apply structural force movement on nodes select this apply just give the negative sign it is fy constant value negative sign ok so this becomes in downward direction now all the conditions are applied ok now save db which save in our ansys folder that is here ok now go to solution part solution part is over solution part is start so solve current ls ok solution is done so close this again close this now we require the results so go to results that is solution part is over we first preferences that is preprocessor part is over solution is over now to take a result go to general post processor now first is plot result first is deform result deform shape deform plus undeform ok this is deform plus undeform now we have to take a printout of this image so to take printout of this image just go to plot control capture image and save this image in your folder that is save as select your folder 
that is on desktop we created the folder it is ansys problem here it is ansys and name just as you require that is suppose deform shape save now close this now second result we required that is go to counter plot nodal solution nodal solution <coughs> degree of freedom solution <coughs> displacement vector sum okay so this is displacement nodal solution so again go to plot control capture image file save as so suppose this is a nodal solution save this now again close this now second result we require that is third again go to nodal solution here it is nodal stress and select one minus stress okay so the value of stress is this 0 0.1 0 0.819 okay so plot plot control capture image file save as stress save now again close this now next next result we require the reaction solution that is list of result now go to list result So the result we take in a plot result it is nodal solution for displacement and stress. So same result we have to take in a table format. So just go to list result, nodal solution, T of solution, displacement vector sum. Okay. So it shows the all result of displacement vector in a table format. So save this file, file, save as again select your folder which is created on desktop. ANSYS problem, ANSYS, so change here it is nodal solution or as per you the name required, save, again close this, again we required the stress nodal solution, stress, one minus stress, okay, okay, so this is not valid for the trust problem we have to take a element table data the next result we require the reaction solution reaction solution all items select all items ok so this is the reaction applicable so select file save as here it is the reaction solution save this close this box now we have to take a stress in a table format so if we go to list result element table data so no table is defined so first we have to define the table data so ok close this now go to element table define new table add it is by sequence number ls which is load step 1 and some give the name for that same table that is suppose we use stress ok ok so table is added close this now go to again list result element table data so here this stress table is defined so select this stress ok so these are the stresses created in a our 4 bar trust number so go to file save as stress solution save now close this so this is our complete problem solution for 4 bar truss